Hey guys, it's Ifter, and welcome back for more Soma. Uh, last time we, I guess, got the structure gel we needed. And we also took down the, I guess, quarantine that Omicron had. And we seem to be being followed by some weird teleporting creature that so far has been kind to us, but we'll see if that sticks out. We also have to collect two more parts for Catherine so we can get inside the other dead body. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Paula Lansky. I remember I was going to read this last time and ended it. Ross and the WoW. Confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Ross recharging. Lisa Cameron. WoW is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. It's the most insane thing I've ever encountered. Somehow the WoW, primarily relegated to the structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the, course, uh, the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation, which seems to be instructing the gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Yeah, something tells me the crazy didn't stop when it reached 100. Something tells me it didn't stop at all. And yeah, they got more rats in here, that's good. Uh, right. Uh, okay. The hell? Okay. What's going on in here? Preparation for the rat? That looks wonderful. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. What are these? Shavers? How have I know? Okay, so. Looking for Cortex thing. And I forget the third item, but we'll, we will find it eventually, I'm sure. It's in the trash. Eh, nothing, as always. Okay, uh, somebody was taking a lot of pills, I guess? Okay. Um. That's not something you really want to get comfortable with. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julia. What's going on? Am I that transparent? What do you want, Riley? We're friends, right? Uh -oh. Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Oh, what makes you? Why, why would you ask that? I think Ross is trying to tell me something about Psy Alpha. Okay. So there's some mysterious station alpha. Uh, fishing here, I guess? Oh dear. Um, I guess I think is the right. Yeah. I think I guess is the right reaction. Okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I nearly swallowed wrong. Uh. Okay, I'm not sure if I actually have anything to find in here. I assumed there'd be something, but I guess not. Does this actually work? No, they don't. Okay. Whatever. Head back out. Mm, okay. Uh, is it... I don't trust that. Seems really... no. Seems really not dead. But... You know. Hydroponics, okay. Uh, was there something I needed with the plants? The only thing I can remember is the Cortex chip and the structure gel. I even said them at the beginning. 
what we needed. We get sent on so many errands, it's hard for me to keep track. Okay, what do we got in here? Oh. Hey, Andrea? Yeah? I was talking to Cameron about protein solubilization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification in black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try it. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... Sorry. Okay. I guess I'm just getting a lot of information, not so much parts. Not that that's a problem. I don't trust that body. I won't trust that body until until we get the hell out of this place. Um, that's where I came from. Wait, was this open? It was. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Cool. Did I really want to unlock this? Um. Okay. This is cool. What is this? Cortex chip! Hey! Oh. I want to eject it. Okay, um. Comms. Huh. Okay. There's comms around. I don't particularly understand what I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, are they all on? No. Um. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay. Neato. Neato. Okay. Um. Neato. Neato. Hi. Um. Something tells me I need this to curve down rather than. Okay. That's what I needed. Okay. Cool. C cool. Just gonna leave now. No one's gonna... No one's gonna jump scare me. You're moving. And breathing. Okay. Gonna walk past you. Alright, what do we have in here? It looks like gel. Into the abyss, take it to... There was a button I could use to actually read these, wasn't there? Like, that text. What? 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 Excuse me? Oh, yeah. I was sworn there was some button, and I don't remember it now. Oh, well. Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. Okay. Uh, Alpha needs medicine. He's sick. Or it's sick. Uh-huh. 
Find Tau. Find Alpha. Take the gel to Alpha. The heart of Alpha. Uh huh. I don't think people went crazy. He's creeping me out. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, outgoing to Theta. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Incoming. Okay. Oh, oh, can you hear shoot, sorry. Are you there? Uh, I hear I thought you. It was over. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Well, okay then. Stay safe. Well, oh, that was literally it. Wow. Okay, incoming. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone alright? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Look at that. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tau, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. That was it? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take the stress ball with me. Okay. in the well what I don't know what just happened but it was scaring me that was there before go upstairs just go 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 just go now you're going back in there Need to go upstairs. Things are spooky. I don't like it very much. Okay, heading upstairs. This game is getting more weird now, and I don't like it. Okay. So this place was for medical research, advanced mare culture. So I'm assuming maritime culture. And home of the Abyss Climber Rig. Enjoy your stay. Mm -hmm. Gotta check this way first. Well. None of these guys work? some reason none of the black boxes here work he had his head smashed in that lovely lovely you had yours scooped out from your mask I don't need to read that again. 
Okay. Beautiful. I'm going this way now. I really don't want to spend any more time in Omicron. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go to the dining hall. Nothing wants to eat me, right? Just here for some spinach. Gonna take my spinach and my water and this looks better. Mildly. Um, just gonna take my food now. Hey, buddy, what you working on? Excuse. Do you mind if I take? Excuse me, I'm clumsy. Do you mind if I take some lunch right next to you here, buddy? And Scooch up. How you doing there? Let me just, let me just pull my chair out. <laughs> it's okay. I like to sit like this. So sorry, I knocked your drink. So how you doing? Your black box not working. That's okay. Uh, here, you can have some noodles later. Let me. Uh, let me just. Yeah. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. Okay. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds. And the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. It's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. No. Oh. What else you got on here? Tau evacuation. On September 13th, Vic Eclair ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with engineer Alan Waldeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering and soon the whole pass shut down. Omega Sector was swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight until I heard screaming over the short-range radio. It carried on, breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Espinosa. Something big had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tau and more specifically Ross, as I heard Espinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tau to their fate. Alright, Tau Carthnotes. 
With some luck, Ross made it back to town and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Ames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Lumar probes. It's a good thing Galaski is off-site, because I have a feeling he would not have approved. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it. As long as Ross is left alone to work with the WoW. Okay, in Carthage is Julia Dahl, Johan Ross, and Mark Serang. Uh, okay. Keep forgetting to hit back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, not sure what I'm seeing. Okay. And K. So I mean, that's what her head looked like. Or, yeah. So basically, everyone's head's exploded. Fun. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna leave. Just gonna go over here and shove my hand in another, uh... Eat it. Eat my hand! <laughs> Let's just get out of here. And we we'll close that door. What's through there? South stair. Oh, where I came from. Okay. Cool. That's cracked down there. Why do I have a feeling something's gonna throw me into that? Okay. That's open. Neat. Neat. Storage room is useless as always. Cool. My game just loaded something. What did it load? Um. Hi. What am I looking at? What in the hell am I looking at? Okay. Neat. This one over here sounds more concerning. It's also standing. Hi, friend. What? Is he moving? No. Um. Ignore all of that. You have a claw. You know that? You have a claw in your hand. Um. What does it say? There, you got these accents. Hi, friend! Hi! Oh, goodbye! Oh, goodbye! Bye. I think I died. No. I'm just gonna leave her. Use her own devices. Goodbye. Why was I in here? Doesn't seem like that was in any way helpful to me. Is there something back there I need? Uh, all I got from that was uh, the inability to see. I don't want to go back and get some health somewhere. Shouldn't have put my hand in that hole. Should have saved it. The one time I actually don't save it is the time I... 
is the time I need it. Where were the other ones? Is there one in the medical bay? No. Friends up and walking around somewhere. That's comforting. Hey, I can use this one. Come here. Ah. Thanks, Wow. Appreciate it. Yes, I see you. Hi. Don't know where our friend down here went. But I think I am just about out of time. So, uh, next time I'll figure out what's up with the lady up here. And why I'm up here in the first place. If you guys like the video, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next one. See you then.